Welcome back, surf fans. You're watching the Billabong Pro Pipeline Women's Finals Day and Semi-Final Heat Number Two. This has been a matchup that, on paper, everybody's excited to see. A little uh, re rebirth of a rivalry we've seen developing over the past, let's just call it a decade. Two young surfers in the lineup, but they've been going at it since they were little kids in the amateur ranks. And great to have Lakey Peterson healthy back at it. Yeah, it's been fun to watch these women. Like you said, there is a rivalry that bubbles underneath the surface. Both of these ladies going for world titles. But yeah, Carissa opening the exchange. Now the quick scouting report from that last heat is that the judges will give you full credit for a nice drop and a long fast ride down the line. Here we go. Looks like Lakey Peterson committed to pipeline. Both surfers right there. To me, that just looked like a, a, a little test, right? Drop in on a wave. And dare I say the cliche of get your feet in your wax. And then, you know, you, you look back at the at the names on the paper. She just beat one of the best to ever do it. Tyler Wright. Right back at it. Who will meet Moana Jones-Wong in the final? Carissa Moore. Tidy little backside tube right there. It's high and tight at Pipeline. Both these surfers opting for the left so far. Her is gonna be awesome. Can't wait to see what she does at Sunset Beach. But now let's talk about Carissa Moore. So this wave came through at 317. And it's kind of a nice little research dock here. You look at that wave compared to Moana Jones-Wong, her first wave where she pulled in, she was deep, but she didn't quite make it out the end. So the judges have been right there in line throughout the, uh, throughout the first couple heats of the day. So. Chris Moore in the lead for now. Ultra consistent, ultra successful. Five world titles to her name. 21, 19, 15. Here we go, Lakey Peterson, late drop. Feel like a little air got up on underneath her board. 3.30 to go, we're just waiting for one of those big Cobra strikes and here it comes. Carissa Moore grabbing the rail, goes to pipe. Pulls up right in the pocket. Very reminiscent of that last wave that was a 317. Just a quick ride, but high and tight. Nicely done. Yeah, just grabbing that rail from the get-go, knowing she's got to pull up high. So she's going to add to that 317. Also adds to the requirement that Lakey's going to require. I love this drone view. Just gives you such a cool angle. Caps from the beach. I mean, that, that right there is just a, a perfect example of a, what Jerry Lopez said about surfing is one thing you learn from surfing is how to operate in the present. She just corrected a mistake that only happened about 30 seconds ago. She identified it and she goes, okay, no problem. The way it just looked like it's kind of scooped up from underneath her. Horn blows and that's it. Carissa Moore into the finals. At a historic Billabong Pro Pipeline. 467 and a 317 was enough to meet up with Moana Jones Wong. Big things on the horizon here from the Billabong Pro Pipeline. We'll be right back with more action. The finals is coming up next.